Welcome to Sicily. Today I'm recording here because I'm looking for retreats, possible retreats for cross yoga. I'm going to guide you through a flow sequence that will begin uh, standing at the top end of the mat and just breathe a little bit so you can pop yourself at the top end of the mat, mountain pose. Ground yourself. Close your eyes. Just a few deep grounding breaths. Maybe you feel like sighing out and releasing anything that's heavy, stressful. And then circle your arms slowly up overhead. Lean back for cactus arms, so bending your el elbows 90 degrees and lean back. Let the hands meet here in front of your chest. You might grasp your hands and shoot your spine back. Get your hands into a prayer and then fold forward. Lifting up halfway, if you have a block, it might be nice to use one now. You can bring your right hand on the floor, lift the left arm up for a bit of a twist. You can definitely let your knees drop apart. Fold forward, opposite side as well. Reach up, going slow and gentle. Release down, hands on the floor, step your feet back, find your downward facing dog and maybe want to pedal your feet a little bit. Roll over your toes a few times if that's nice. Move into a plank. And stay just a moment to ground and figure out where you're positioned in the right way. Maybe on your knees, lower down. Maybe just a navel on the floor before you lift your chest up, going for a baby cobra. Push through the hands, back to downward facing dog. All of that, one more time, a few more times with a breath. So walk to the top end of the mat, fold forward. Rise up high mountain. Maybe exhale as you use your cactus arms, lean back, open your chest. Inhale, bring your hands to the front, grasp the hands. And exhale. Create space between your shoulder blades. Inhale, hands in prayer. Soften your knees and fold forward, exhale. Go for a twist, whatever direction you feel like. Inhale, lift maybe left arm up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, other hand up. Maybe looking towards the sky, maybe not. It really depends on your neck. Fold forward. Step back, inhale, toes and knees, exhale, slowly lower down, navel in. If you're ready for a cobra and up dog, you can go for that, so inhale, exhale, down dog. One breath, soften your elbows, small bend in your knees. Jump a walk to the top, inhale, full forward, exhale. One more time through, rise, inhale. Cactus arms open, maybe sigh out. Ah. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, create space. Lengthen one more time, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Twisting, half lift, inhale, maybe left hand up. Exhale, fold forward. Opposite, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, step or walk back. Maybe you want to jump back. Exhale, lower down. Cobra up, dog, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Awesome. Another sequence, and I'll add those two sequences together in just a moment. From your down dog or your tabletop, if you prefer, lift your right leg up and go for that hip opener so you can bend your knees or the right knee at least, and 
Stay here. Bring the right knee still bent towards the left elbow plank. Bring the knee up and back again. Maybe extend the leg all the way up. And then knee to watch your nose in the kind of curved plank. Last time, three-legged dog, right leg still up. And step the foot to the front. Lunge, arms up overhead. And then we're gonna create some space here in our hips. So first you're gonna rotate to watch your right side. The right leg is at front. Move your arms out, align with the floor. Go maybe deep. Lift up high. Maybe extend the front leg. Keep your hips aligned with the short end of the mat and twist to watch your left side if you can. Avoid moving this hip. Coming to the front again, extend the front leg and then peel over this front leg for a wide pyramid. Maybe you wanna lift the toes on the front leg there. Ah, small bent in the knees. Back to your down dog or flow flu through a vinyasa if you're up for that. Plank, low plank. Cobra up dog, inhale. And then your down dog, exhale. Maybe you want to incorporate your ujjayi breath, that snoring, exhaling sound. Left leg, reach up. Keep the right leg standing where it is, even though you open up your hip. Draw the heel to the buttocks. And then left knee to right elbow, navel really in towards the spine. Keep going at it, even though you might be shaking. Left leg up and back. And then that curly plank one, Nose towards your knee, spine up. Last time, lift left leg up and bring it approximately where your left hand is. High lunge. Get low. Make sure your spine is not super arched here at the back. And then twist. This time, starting to your left side, bring the arms out like you want to hug somebody. Go to the middle. If you can, maybe extend the front leg before you shift to your right side. Mindful that your right hip stays aligned with the short end of the mat. Rise up one last time. And then that wide pyramid folding down. Use your blocks if you think the floor is far away. Maybe the navel wants to reach down towards the thigh before anything else. Vinyasa. Step back, plank. Exhale, low plank. Take your time if you want to get great strength. <laughs> Inhale, up dog, downward facing dog. And maybe use your body, create some odd shapes in down dog. And then we connect these two. Jump or walk to the front. Full forward. Connect with your breath. Inhale. High mountain. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, hands to the front. Slow exhale. Space behind your back. Inhale, hands to prayer. Exhale, fold forward. Twisting to both sides. Inhale, half lift, left hand up. Exhale, fold forward. Other side, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower down. Halfway lift, inhale, straight spine. <laughs> exhale, jump or walk to your plank. Inhale, create space. Again, between your shoulder blades, exhale, lower down. 
Vinyasa, Cobra up dog, inhale, down dog. Right leg, inhale, reach your leg up, exhale, bend the knee. Bring the right knee to left elbow, plank, exhale. Leg up again, three-legged dog. Awesome, I hope you're really nice and warm now. Exhale, plank, knee nose. Inhale, last, up. And bring it through, exhale. High lunge. Stacking front knee over the ankle. And find your posture here. Take a deep inhale. Prepare to twist towards your right side. Exhale. Inhale. Middle side. Exhale to your left. Inhale. Arms up again. Wide pyramid. Exhale. Fold forward. You might swap or peel the toes off. Take a breath here in pyramid. And then set the foot down, walk to the front of the mat, fold forward. Last time, deep breath here. There is space there. Exhale, back bench, cactus arms. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale. Notice your body's warm, ready to move. Maybe a little bit tired. Inhale, prayer pose. Exhale, fold forward. Twisting, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Maybe your knee stays more aligned than the first time you were here now. Other hand, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Maybe a vinyasa. If you're tired, you can stay in your down dog. But if you're ready, fold down into your low plank. Exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Ground yourself, left leg reach up. Inhale and exhale as you open up your hip. Inhale, left leg, right elbow, exhale. Inhale, sweep the leg up again. Exhale, that plank, knee, nose variation. Inhale, left leg up. And plant it to the top of the mat. Exhale, high lunge. Shake your shoulders. Inhale, prepare to twist towards your left side. Exhale, twisting. Maybe notice that it's easier to twist with your hip in this direction. Way harder, inhale, rise up to twist to the other side, keeping the right knee forward. Inhale, middle, wide pyramid. Exhale, fall forward, lift the front toes. Take a breath. Last vinyasa, inhale, finding plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra up dog. And maybe you wanna stay in your child's pose with your knees down, spread them wide. You can take your elbows to the front here by the temples, the palms together. Forehead on the mat and you can bring your thumbs behind your head. Letting everything go. Bring your hands down, just a few stretches. Take a seat in the direction of the mat, that makes sense. Butterfly pose, the sole of the feet together, knees out. And sit tall. Relax, we have a tendency of always moving a little bit, but try to relax and you might wanna kind of thread the arms underneath here and maybe your hands can reach the toes, maybe not. Just like this kind of shape. 
Sitting bones on the mat. Take three deep breaths, trying to sink down and relax. When you're ready, just take a comfortable seat. Stretching the arms. We have been doing quite a, a few tricep push-ups, plank to low plank. So you can take your right hand up and behind you, the other arm going the other way. Maybe the hands can reach there at the, at the back of the mat. So it looks like this. Or maybe just hold on to something. Curl the left shoulder back. So don't draw this shoulder forward in the attempt to reach the hand behind you. Still breathing slowly, deeply, as best as you can. Release again. Roll your shoulders, other side, same thing. And if you want to go into your thinking mind right now, you might think back of something that you have learned within the last weeks or maybe the last years that you know you know, but you tend to forget it. <laughs> what could that be? Things that you know is important, you have learned, but you tend to forget it. Go of your hands and let's stretch, stretch the chest so your hands will maybe reach at the back then there and take your chest forward, maybe your nose towards the, the sun. <laughs> You can come down on your mat and rest for as long as you like. I'll just take around 30 seconds seated here. Maybe your palms facing up. If you have uh, prayers or wishes in your heart, or maybe it's coming back to that thing that you forgot. It's time for that right now. I am very grateful that you wanted to join me. Thank you so much and blessings on your path wherever you might be and always welcome to share a comment or just a thumbs up. It's so much appreciated. Uh, it helps me to move forward with all that I'm doing. Thank you.